we finally made it to the RV park. We are now full-time in our RV, which is a Monaco Dynasty. It's a 1994 39-foot diesel pusher coach. Uh, we're loving it. We have no slides. It is 26 years old, but you certainly wouldn't know it. Uh, we had problems with slides when we had a fifth wheel, and we really decided we don't ever want to have another thing to do with a slide. So I wanted to give you a little tour and show you the inside. Uh, another video will show you what the outside's like and what our campground is like. Uh, we're here mainly um, when we do our road trips, and obviously I'll try and show some stuff with our uh, trips. But anyway, without further ado, let me show you some of the inside of this coach. Walking up to the motorhome, there's two steps that are electric that retract when we drive away, followed by another two to get up into the coach. Then over into the driver's area. I have the seat turned sideways so it's uh, ready just for uh, visitors to sit back and relax. Uh, so let's give you some information about the driving section. Very comfortable to drive this thing. It's got a 300 horsepower diesel Cummins engine. It's equipped with air brakes. We've got some electric mirror switches and air brake switch in the center and cruise control and then a six-speed Allison transmission. Got your regular lights and uh, spotlight that moves on the roof, generator start switch, extra battery uh, help if your battery dies to start, normal engine stuff with a nice big black and white rear monitor for backing up. Super nice uh, sound system in this and some really nice electric sunshades. I've got three options. One on the left, one in the center, and one on the right. And that is up here. These are the sunshades, and they come down almost all the way to the dash. Uh, depending on where the sun is, I can move them around. Obviously, we don't drive with the flowers on the dash or the picture, but we're parked. So that's the front with uh, some drawers down below that we can store stuff. Nice cup holder. Um, a glove box and over here for the passenger is another cup holder and then the powered awning switch step lights porch lights battery disconnect that's the front section up on the front left we have a fold-out couch that turns into a bed with a really nice drawer underneath where all the blankets are stored for when we do make it up into a bed we put in new flooring here, there was carpet, but with the dogs, the dog hair on the carpet just stays there. Seats turn around so it makes part of the living room. The driver's one only turns left because the couch is right beside it. Uh, we have a nice fireplace with a heater. And then a, a lazy boy chair over on the other side. So there is quite a lot of room here around the top. There's cabinets all the way around. Cabinets on both sides. We've got the AC control unit, the tank levels, the propane levels, the water levels, generator switch, water pump, awning light, and our electrical control panel, which gives us information about the, what the charger's doing, what the inverter's doing, what our battery capacity is, and that kind of stuff. And the counter or the cupboards go around super nice speakers for the radio and a 36 inch I think it is TV screen we've got smoke detectors on the roof we've got uh, two roof air conditioners one in the forward part and one in the aft that is the front section of the motorhome quite roomy and lots of space Now as we go into the kitchen area, we've got a table for two which does have a leaf and uh, makes it a four place table. We've got our clock in the back with some of our decorations. And over on the other side we have the microwave oven, a stove, 
and a regular oven, followed by uh, dual sinks with covers. When you lift the cover covers, there are cutting boards on the bottom. We have a super nice fridge. It is DC, AC, and propane power. It switches automatically depending on uh, what we're doing at the time. And we have this real ceramic flooring here, which is uh, especially cool because it's heated electrically. So right now, for instance, that floor is 20 degrees because it was kind of chilly this morning, so I turned it on. We have a roof fan for controls humidity or over the stove in our furnace. So this fan on the roof, which does have a cover, is to uh, get rid of the cooking fumes, kitchen fan, so to speak. Hard to film in this next area, but this is the main bathroom. It's got a nice big shower. It also has the ceramic tiles on the floor that are heated. It's got a corner sink over here with cabinets and mirrors, medicine cabinets, nice sink with the uh, toilet down on a little s step. <clears throat> on the other side, it's covered with mirrors and cabinets and drawers. I think we have uh, 10 or 12 drawers. And inside, which is running right now, is our washer dryer, which works really, really well. Another door, another door in the back to isolate, or a door in the front, so if you can enter the bathroom from both directions, and if you have people sleeping in the front, you can close both doors, and either person can go privately into the bathroom. With this running right now, you can hear how quiet this washer and dryer is. We can sleep right beside it and not even hardly hear it. Right above we have our printer, which is on Wi-Fi, so we can print while we work at the kitchen table, because we are doing work at home right now, and just storage up above. I won't show you the rest of the closets, but there are plenty. Continuing in through the bedroom, we've got another uh, two, four, six drawers, more closets, and into the bedroom really nice blackout curtains with if I'm in here during the day sleeping and we close these up and I close this door it's dark in here no matter what time of day cabinets that go all the way around it's a nice TV over here that we can watch while in bed followed by another closet down here there is a sound system that's throughout this whole unit furnace and air conditioning vents and ducts, a bed, double bed, cupboards on both sides, and underneath the bed it lifts up to the engine compartment and there's also a safe down there which I've never used so don't worry about robbing me. Up here more air conditioning controls and the lights and that is the tour of the inside of Groot. Thanks.